Hello everyone, welcome back to clubrackets.com, Sheffield's Racket Sports Shop. It's been quite a while since we've been able to do a video, but today we're going to do our review of the new Yonix Astrox 88 Pros, the D and the S. The review has been quite a long time coming because the rackets didn't arrive on time because of all the shipping and then I couldn't get on court, but finally things are getting back to normal and can get some court time uh, to play with these and see what they're like. So we'll just start off with the differences between the old ones and the new ones, uh, then I'll get out and play with them, and then I can tell you the thoughts of how they play. Now there's actually four new rackets to have a look at today, because each of the Astrox 88s, the D and the S, come in a 3U and a 4U racket. So the 3U is the heavier one, around 88 grams, and the 4U is the lighter one, around 83 grams. Now today we're going to be giving away one of these rackets, so what I'd like you to do is after you've watched the video I'd like you to comment below which one you'd like, so just put down 88D 3U or 88S 4U, and also you sign up to our newsletter, and then in our next newsletter will announce the winner and one of you get it. It's a worldwide giveaway so make sure you get yourself signed up. Right so the first one we're going to have a look at today is the Astrox 88S. So I've got the 88S Pro and an older version of the 88S, this one in the uh, emerald green. I uh, really like this racket. Um, and just to have a look at a few of the differences um, before we start playing with them. So first of all, I think the most obvious difference for me is that if you put them together, they are the same length. They're five millimeters shorter than the 88Ds. But if you have a look here, you can see that the shaft on the 88S Pro is a little bit shorter. Okay, and I'm sure that will make it just a little bit stiffer. Also, here you have a different cone and I like these on the new Yonix rackets because they form a really nice place for your thumb uh, when you're serving. The other differences I've noticed are a little more difficult to spot um, but it's described in the Yonix literature that there are actually some wider grommets going from here to here on the Astrox 88S Pro and that's designed to give you a little bit more hold on the shuttle for a little bit more sort of control and skill around the net. Um, the ATAS is designed to be the front court racket, so um, Kevin Sukumolio is the, the, the main player who uses it, so it's quick, fast, dominating the front court. So the next new racket is the AT8D Pro. Um, again, comparing it to the old one, um, it's again quite noticeable that if you put them together that the shaft on the 88D Pro is a little bit shorter and it also has the cool new cone. Um, lovely gold paintwork on this one, there'll be more photos later. For the grommets on this one, they've just got the larger grommets from here to here. So a slightly narrower band just above the centre um, for the 88D. Um, I think that might be just for the, the extra power that they want to give it to, but it would be interesting to see uh, what difference it has. So I'm just going to show you a bit of footage from the hall when I was testing the rackets. Uh, just before I show it to you, I haven't been able to play for six months. This is only my fourth or fifth session back. So I know my movement isn't great and my technique isn't great, but I'm just happy to be on court. So don't comment how rubbish I am. I haven't been able to get any really good players uh, to come out and test the rackets with me. Just it's been really awkward with COVID and all that. Um, so just a little bit of me hitting just to give you the sound. Um, I've strung up all four rackets the same with X-Bolt 63, which is Yonix's new durable string. Uh, thin and durable at £25 and uh, that's something new as well which I'll talk to you about after.
Okay, so first racket to talk about is the ATAS Pro 4U. So it's the lightest one of the four, uh, it feels the quickest in the hand. Um, the differences to the ATAS before, because there was a 4U version before, is it's got a G5 handle, which actually makes it feel a little bit more nimble in your hand. Um, it feels noticeably sharper. Um, something I've noticed with all of the four rackets is they do feel just a little bit harder, a little bit sharper. I mean, part of that, I think, is the X-Bolt string, um, because that feels nice and sharp and bright and crisp as well. But the rackets, I think, do just feel a little bit harder, a little bit more razor edge, a little bit more oomph to them. Um, I like it. I really like it. Um, it's it's fast. I think if you're the kind of player who does what this racket is for, if you stand at the net and you've got the skills, uh, if you like to dominate the front and the mid court, you like to be quick, you like to be killing stuff off, if you've got just a few more racket skills than me, I think this would be brilliant, especially if you're playing doubles, which is what it's for. So a great racket. Uh, I think I like, would use this one a bit if I was getting a bit tired. Um, because it's so quick and manoeuvrable or if I'm playing in a hall where the shot's coming at me really fast somebody's got a really fast smash or it's just a really fast haul um, I think this would be great for those fast flat doubles rallies so next up we've got the 88D Pro in 4U so again it's same way as the previous version we had out in the UK uh, again, with the G5 handle, which I forgot to mention before, uh, it does make it feel a little bit heavier than the one before because I think the little handle gives it a bit more feeling of head weight. Um, the I don't think I've quite got the best out of this racket yet. I tend to find 4U's a little bit too light for me. I'm used to playing with a, a beaten up Arc Sabre 11, which is 3U. And I think the 4U's, you can get amazing speed out of this, you can get a great smash, but I find quite often I end up trying to over hit it, I swing it too fast, um, but very easy to play with. I think the 4U's, the S and the D, are very easy to pick up and get on with. Um, I think they would suit a lot more players than the, the 3U rackets would, which we're coming to soon. Um, love this, great smash great precision on the smash uh, lovely sound to it you can generate that racket head speed really easily uh, again it's stiff feels like feels like very precise when you're hitting it um, you get that good connection with the shot next up uh, is the ATAS Pro in a 3U now I expected to like the 88D in a 3, 3U because it's closest to what I normally play with but actually so far the 88S 3U has been my favourite racket. Uh, it's got the power to it so unlike the 4U version I feel when you're hitting the shuttle you feel that you're hitting through the shuttle a little bit more. Um, you can feel the softness a little bit across the middle which just gives you that feeling of power um, and I really like it. Um, it's got more power than the 4U version which is what I found the 4U 88S was lacking. I reckon you can get a really good big hit from this um, from the near the back of the court and get a good smash on it. Um, for me so far it's been the best one out of the four. And last but not least, we have the 88D Pro in the 3U. So this is the one that feels the heaviest when you're on the court because it's got the head weight, it's got the weight, and it has got the power as well. I, at the moment, I don't think I'm swinging it fast enough to get the best out of it. I don't think I'm hitting it well enough to make good use out of this racket. But I'm hoping, as I play a little bit more and the racket head speed comes back, that I'll be able to switch to this racket because I think it would be pretty effortless from the back of the court to get a good smash with this. Sound is amazing. It's not quite as forgiving because I think you have to hit a little smaller bit to get the, the power than you do on the S, which I think is why I'm liking the S at the moment because it's a bit easier. Um, but I, th I think it'll definitely be one of the three U's for me. Um, 
S at the moment, maybe moving on to the D later on. They are completely different rackets, the S and the D. Um, it, it has been throwing my timing off a little bit, switching between all four. Um, but I'm going to carry on with this as I get faster and stronger again. I think this may be the one. So, in summary, four new rackets. They've all got their good points. Um, they all do certain things well. The four U's are quick, um, powerful, great for that fast sort of doubles. The three U's might suit a sort of stronger players, players used to heavier racket. Uh, ultimately going to give you a little bit more power, but just a little bit more trouble to kind of swing about. Um, as I said, the 88S 3U is my favourite at the moment, um, but, you know, they're all good rackets. You go for any of them, you're going to get used to them, and you're going to get some great playing time out of these rackets. Absolutely loved them. And just a little note about the Xbox 63. Uh, it's quite hard feeling, um, so I think if you're a fan of BG80 or something like that, I think you're going to like the Xbox 63. Um, I haven't played enough to test the durability, but I've had no problems so far. Bright, clean, hit, easy power, perhaps too much for me sometimes. I like a BG65 Ti, which has a bit less power, um, but certainly a string I'm going to carry on playing with and experiment with in my own racket and carry on playing with these and see how it develops over time. So I think it's a really good combination of the new string and the new rackets and if you get a chance try it out. Remember we have got a giveaway uh, for one of the four rackets used in the video and they're all strung with X-Bolt. So get yourself signed up to our newsletter. The link is below in the description and if you want to find our Facebook page as well that's facebook.com slash club rackets give it a like and you get to see all that's going on on clubrackets.com because there's some exciting stuff coming up in the rest of the year.